Now we'll be going over phone controls. For demonstrative purposes, this is what our agent desktop looks like. Seeing that Cisco Finesse is so customizable, your immediate view might appear slightly different. Our goal is to demonstrate the functionality and to ensure your understanding of your new phone system so that you can confidently and successfully go about your daily tasks. In getting started, I'm going to first place us in the ready state. This is so the ACD knows we're ready to take a call. To demonstrate how to answer a call properly, I'm going to now place a call in the queue. To answer our incoming call, over here on the right hand side, press the answer button. Right away, I can see a few key pieces. The first thing I see is this symbol here that lets me know that I'm on a current call. Next to it is my call duration. This is the amount of time I've been on the call. You'll also see here the caller ID of the number of the person calling in. Below this information here, we'll find our enterprise data, also known as screen pop. This is going to be any customer information that your contact center has configured to show up. This might appear different from what we see here. Next, we're going to see three major call control buttons. Our first is the keypad. Our keypad button brings up a manual dial pad. We also have the hold button. Notice that while I'm on hold, I now have a second call duration. This is going to keep track of the amount of time my caller's been on hold. Also, in parentheses, is my total call duration. To retrieve the call, simply hit the retrieve button. Our next button is the consult button. You can see here, our consult button has brought up a list of contacts that we can consult. I can either click on the name and it will pre-populate the information for me or I can manually enter the number of the extension that I'd like to call and press the call button. My supervisor has accepted the call. While we're on the consult, you'll notice that it automatically places my caller on hold. We can see how long they've been on hold and again, our total call duration. In this second call bar, I can now see the amount of time I've been consulting with my supervisor. I can also see their extension, as well as our original call control buttons. Moving up to my first call bar, I have two new call control buttons. My first is a conference. When I press on the conference button, this will join my two calls, my original call with my customer, and it will bring my supervisor in as well. Now if you'll notice, both of my calls are in one call bar, and I have my original call control buttons as well. From here, I can choose to end the call. To now take a look at the transfer feature, I've placed a call in the queue. Now that I've accepted the call, to get to the transfer feature, I must first consult my supervisor. Now that I'm consulting with my supervisor and my caller is on hold, it gives me the transfer feature. To transfer, simply click the transfer button. Now my supervisor has successfully taken over the phone call and I have been placed in the state that I was in before I received the call, which is now the ready state. We're now going to take a look at making an outbound phone call to both an extension and to an outside number. In order to make an outbound call via finesse, I must first make myself not ready. And now my call bar has an option to make a new call. When I click on that bar, it will give me a list of contacts, which I can click on to automatically populate the extension of the agent or supervisor I'd like to contact, or I can manually enter in my supervisor's extension and press the call button. And my supervisor has accepted the call. Now we're going to take a look at how to make an outbound call to an outside number. To do that, I'm going to end this call. Now let's look at how to make an outside phone call. 
click on your call bar and go over here to the right to your dial pad. You must first press your access code. Please note, this is usually number 9. Your company's access code may be different. Follow your access number with the number you'd like to dial. And then press call. And now I have successfully made an outbound phone call to an outside number. To wrap up this video, we're going to touch on wrap-up codes. Click your call bar and look over here on the right. There's a drop-down menu here with wrap-up reasons. This would be the reason for my call, whether it's an inbound or outbound call. Simply click on the drop-down and select a reason and then select the apply button. We see the green check mark and now we've completed our wrap-up code.